Hey everybody, we're here to go ahead and reassemble this LG G4. The first thing we're going to go ahead and start with is the tape down here at the bottom. Just make sure that your ribbon cable is pushed down and back into its slot properly. You want to put the cable covering on as much of the cable as you can. It's actually shielding. So it looks like I put it on a little bit too far to the left, so I'm going to have to pull it up and put it back down again. I'm going to try one more time, get it to cover as much of this cable as possible. The point of the shielding is, is to make sure that uh, no interference hits the cable. Perfect. Now you can buy this shielding online as well, uh, EMI fabric shielding tape. If you do need another piece, go ahead and put our headphone jack back in. Connectors to the left, our rear facing camera with the logic board portion to the right and the ribbon cable to the left. Our front facing camera in with the ribbon cable facing downwards. Our vibration module, can't really mess that one up, it has a cutout that exactly fits. Our earpiece speaker will sit back in, and then you want to make sure the ribbon cable fits back into the two posts that stick off of the mid frame of the phone here. Go ahead and take our logic board. And slide it back in. Make sure all the ribbon cables are pulled up and away. Now remember we have two clips that hold this logic board down. One's at the top to the right of the camera and one's down here at the bottom. So we're going to go ahead and push it in. It doesn't take a lot of force to get it in there. Go ahead and put down our ribbon cable for the display. Snap down our camera cable and our front facing camera cable. See it's kind of pulled out here at the top so I missed the clip up here when I was putting the logic board back in. I'm just going to give it a little bit of pressure here see if we can't get it to snap back in rather than disassemble everything. So pull back and then just press in a little bit. I don't want to fracture the board at all. There we go. That's all the internals. We'll go ahead and put the plastic housing on the back of it here. Now if you want to see how to replace the power button, I'll throw that down in the description as well. Snap the frame on. Let's check our corners, make sure there's no snaps in the middle. We'll go ahead and put all of our 11 screws back in. Now when it comes to phones, this was actually a fairly easy one to repair. Not a lot of inner parts that uh, are too good to remove. The only th problem with this phone is, is that they didn't separate the charge port from the logic board. So if you want to replace your charge port, you have to desolder and resolder it back on. And honestly, unless you have a lot of practice soldering, I would not even attempt it. I've tried a few. I've been successful. I have about a 50-50%. Our track record so it can be a pretty expensive fix so it might just be worth it to send it off it's working down the opposite side now
One more to go. Now, if you found this video helpful, hit that like button. I'd appreciate it. If you have any questions, go ahead and throw them down in the comments. We're going to go ahead and put our battery in and snap our back cover on. Just work our way down the sides. Make sure all the snaps click in. You want to see future videos? Go ahead and subscribe to me. I throw out a couple a month. Try to do all the new phones as soon as possible. I appreciate you watching this video, and I hope that you watch many more.